Jaden, thank you for the sub. Cloyd. Yeah, I'll play deep dive tonight. Maybe. I slept for maybe four hours, but we can talk about that later. How's the weather today? Ugh! It's like 93. It's so hot, it feels like I'm gonna die. All I did for the past two hours is like wander around, 3DS in hand. Ugh, it's terrible. Well, sure, Rizzo beat it. It was so bad. I'm so done. It's gonna cool off now. This is my castle town. I've got AC, but it barely works. Cause it's old, it's like two and a half years old or something. The ancient, the ancient AC. I do, I got the, I got the 2022 AC going on in here. I need a super AC. Yeah. That's what I need. Mm -hmm. nah, 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 nah. I need, yeah, I need a super, I, that, like, I like fantasize about like a fifth setting that's like super cold mode and it actually does its job. But such a setting does not exist to it appear. So don't I'll just like, like pull the knob harder. Cause you know, I don't know. I don't know. Complete desperation for anything to change. Ah, oh, no new ones are there. I always suck. Why did Forgotten Tower only get a nothing rate? Why does Rob not get it? I did get a red attempt yesterday. I forgot to change the title. Wait, hold on. Everyone, hold on! What? Guys! Hold on. I need to change the title. Oh, I did forget to ping the past the sub. I did so many things that I just assumed I already did that. All right, now I need to go over here. I need to go over here and do this, go here. Right. Zero, nope, can't do that, wait. What did I, no, I can't do it without my A and D keys, or I'm trying to, but it's not working. I can't type because I can't press A or D to how it is. Okay, now I can play. GD platform list. Patio light. What do you mean activate deathless, by the way? Who in the fuck is gonna do this deathless? Jesus? It's not gonna happen like that. Even the first move is difficult in this level. Oh wait, it's this fucking song. I 
five stream streak. That's impressive. Only people with like millions of friends can get to that number. So I'm impressed. Color me impressed, my friend. I didn't know it stood for save our souls until like, I don't even know when I knew, but I keep forgetting. But like, when you said that, like I already knew that, but I like relearned the fact that I knew that. Save our souls, won't someone help me? I changed the song. What? I don't know how it works at all. <laughs> to tell you the old, honest, ultimate truth about it all. Wait a second, I don't have to do this. Decision is key. Yeah, it is. I can see that. Alright, this is like the launcher one. I think the key is always to stop moving before you think you should. Oh, no, no, no. Do I know any humanly impossible platform levels? I don't think I do. Like, I don't think I've ever seen like a task level like you would see for normal GD. If you know what I mean. Yeah, I'm sure I'm sure they exist. I just haven't seen one. When did I last beat an easy demon? That would be yesterday when I played I wanna beat the cock mock. Help. Oh, I see what you have to do there. No? Oh wait, this is a stupid... This thing. I don't know how you would make shell jumps, but please do it, yeah. Loki. It's like the most awkward part of the level, but I'm glad they tried something, you know what I mean? Why not? You could definitely pixel on this to like... I don't know exactly where it is, but it's probably somewhere like around here. If you cared. Welcome back to my stream. Stream! But yeah, we played, we played, uh, Deep Dip 2 last night. Easy version. Did not make it past Floor 2. Holy shit, Floor 2 was hard. We got really close though, and I think that that's the hardest floor, is floor two. I think past that it just gets easy. Or not easy, but easier probably, in reality. There's still probably a lot of shit I have to learn. Just due to how it is, you know. I don't really know how to do those jumps effectively, to be honest with you. Where am I going? Oh, this is the right way. I thought I was, like, going somewhere weird for a second. But nope. Yeah, I do remember that. I regret it a lot. But oh well. I was just gonna follow the thing I fell through next anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Like, I was, I was doomed that attempt to falling to the... I was doing the thing wrong. <laughs> But it's okay, now we have the knowledge. Now remember. Yeah, there we go. I do like needle levels a lot. I'm a big fan of them. I live for needle. I'm curious to see what other kind of levels people make, so, but, you know, I'm all about needle. 
This is called Patio White. It's really long. I think I see what I want to do, yeah. I was trying to do that wrong. I don't know what nothing you want is. Push a P. I see. Does it look exactly like this? Is that why you're mentioning it? I'm alright. I went to the doctor today. It went okay, I guess. I don't know. Kind of down about it. Or like, I was hoping to get more, I guess. Because now it's just another, like, wait for another month for the next thing, you know? And I'm sick of waiting for the next thing. It's so slow. Please stop trying to give me a fighter level, bro. No level requests allowed. No. Maybe? No, just go up here, genius. Dumbest player ever tries to play a video game? What do you actually do here at all? Oh, I see. Oh, I just realized these slopes are sticky, like entirely sticky, so they're not gonna give you any weird momentum. <coughs> Communication, still the gun to pick up. Nice, yes! Everyone's favorite, that. No, I'm, I mean, I play a lot of unrated platform level things. This is unrated. You know? So you need to do it a bit closer. Also, today is the worst of the hot days, but luckily this is it. I think my mood will improve a lot uh, in the following week because it's going to drop down to like 70 as opposed to being 90 every day, which is hype, huh? Oh, why do I thought that the last time too. Why do I keep thinking that Fruit Loops stream? I, how can you eat Fruit Loops? They're too sugary. I think that I guess I think that about all cereal though nowadays. My palate has rejected cereal for the most part. Alright, fine, I'll do it this way. I'll do it this way. I feel like this level's really good warm-up specifically because of all these kind of jumps you have to do. Which is good for Cave of the Scarlet. Oh! I did that the last time I played this too. Like, I couldn't, like, recognize that that was what this was. I think they need to make the saw higher up, though, for this to be good. Because it's, like, weird. If you guys know what I mean. This is a little absurd, although, no, I don't know how you would do this, actually. Uh, maybe like that, but it's still pretty ass, man. It's 
Artist platformer jumps less. Now that sounds stupid. Like one jump, the hardest ones. That sounds dumb as hell. Everyone loves to say the average day in the South or whatever, but you also have to realize, like, it's not supposed to really get this hot where I am in the world at all, right? The reason there's, there's no AC here is because usually you wouldn't need one. It is hot. So my house is just a, like an 80 degrees, bro. I think that's a reasonable thing to be like, damn about, you know what I mean? But what do I know? It sounds like a Celeste Spring collab song. Yeah. I don't know why it's so hot, but whatever, I guess. Not in the south. Yeah. Yeah, that's true for sure. I just I should probably just get better AC, but it's expensive. Expensive. Help. Hardest jump ever right now? I'm okay with diagonals. Diagonals have become pretty easy for me now. All things considered, it's just become like a thing of muscle memory, I guess. It's like, yeah, you want to like stop moving. You don't want to think about those actual spikes, you know what I mean? So I just haven't like played around with those types of jump slots. So I don't know like the best way to go about them yet. Cold showers are awesome if you if like you're in a condition like mine. I mean, I'm taking one later. I'm excited. You know. No, it's just it's, a, it's just Slovakian. I'm Slovakian for the most part. That's all. Warm showers turn my skin into an inferno, like an actual inferno. So they're not worth. No good, I don't like them. I don't know if that is really just the best way to do those types of jumps. They're just straight up just like shimmy down them with a a two tap. I don't know. Seems to work fine for me, I guess. Ba -na -na -na. Damas Damascus. <coughs> Woo! My God. That's what the point of Damascus. Do you get it? Dream. The best YouTuber of all time, am I right, guys? Fuck yeah. It is pretty cool. Dude, I think Kendrick's songs 
like the like the diss songs are perfect for when you're like mad at someone and you just want to sit there and be mad at someone. I don't know how to put it. Like it is it is, that song is rage to me. And it's like, yes, I feel this right now. If you want to donate subs, there's a, there should be a button called gift subs somewhere under the, I don't know, under the screen. Welcome back to Gen Zaps, Zapex. I don't know how else to say that. I know, there should be more music you could just be mad to. I'm going through like a rough time with Bridge at the moment, I guess. And I'm mad at a lot of the people in there. Yo, Le Leve QQ, thank you so much for joining at tier two. I appreciate that. Levec, maybe, is how one could say it. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. I would like it if I liked it, unfortunately. Cryptic much? I don't know, man. Not like us is crazy. I don't use my 502 anymore, I use the Santa Vice. I don't really play much classic GD at the moment, but I will be. Right now my whole priority is just verifying this level. But yeah, I was getting so mad in the bridge discord. Because like I know for myself that I am really good. Like I, it's not it's not like I've been doing this forever. But people were like Hella, like talking, like you're the worst. You're blah, blah, blah. You're no, you're no good. This and this and this, and no one stood up for me. And I was just like, fuck. Not a single person in here. Like I've been beating premium teams since like 2022 or something. Like it's been two years. This. But because I'm unable to play in tournaments, none of that matters, I guess. Even though I've played in one vouch duels. Phantom, thank you so much for the sub. Appreciate that. I cannot play in tournaments. I, I don't really play with anyone. I don't really have like a teammate. My main teammates were Ox and Bucky and they stopped playing. And everyone else already kind of found a teammate by that point. And it sucks because I'm not on enough to find a new teammate, really. I only play in the, the evenings. I've never gotten a chance to prove myself in a tournament. I'm not sure 100% yet when the next video is coming uh, because right now my plan is to start when I start uploading again, it's going to be weekly, uh, but I need to, as I said, 
get some stuff sorted. We need to figure out, we need to get an editor. We need to figure out uh, what sort of stuff we're gonna be able to upload. I have a list of ideas, but it depends on if a friend of mine wants to make content with me. Don't do that. Yeah, we were pretty good. I played pretty good with a lot of people, but I, everyone else, everyone else has their main. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if I'd ever do any IRL stuff because I can't really go out much due to my allergies and such. Yo, Levesque, thank you for the uh, thank you for the gift sub membership. Hopefully, I'm saying your name right. Please correct me if I'm not. But... Yeah, I'm no, I just need more editors because I want to upload weekly. And Doggy's got a lot going on in his life too. And my Doggy was doing weekly edits for me when I was making like eight minute videos. I want to make like thirty to forty minute videos that I have like people on the payroll getting it done. You know what I'm saying? Fuck. Shit. Actually, let me go practice the jetpack, but I don't feel like playing this part right now. But it's just for, oh my God. It's just frustrating me, man. I had like, like I, there was a time where I had like four premium vouchers before most of the people that even have prem council were even like private. Like I've been here. I did just toggle bait for GD. Yeah, some British people have popped in now and again. I mean, I know why. I know why a lot of them don't think I'm very good. Because my PvP just isn't that good. But I'd be winning anyway. That's that's how we do it, dude. I remember me and Ox beat... Oh my god. Doomsday situation. I remember me and Ox beat Berserk... Uh, Zach was in a best of three, and we asked, like, hey, can we get a vouch? Because Ox was private at the time, too, and he just ghosted us entirely. I was like, okay. Because he was like, your PvP isn't good enough. Or something. But enough complaining. Enough complaining. Be more game plan, but it's gonna replace the complaining with something else. Anytime you fight someone like worst enemy trolls them, I hate it. And he's got no respect for the other people I'm trying to come up. Yeah, that's how people explore caves. Yeah, people will beat this. There's a lot. There's a lot of dedicated people in the platform community that can probably knock this out in a few weeks.
Although I think it's gonna take a lot longer than a lot of people think it is for them to beat it. But I guess we'll see when they play it. Or not, maybe it's easy. I'm not trying, I, I don't know. You know, I can't know. There's no way for me to know. This could literally take someone like an hour and I just, I'm the worst ever to ever do it. Oh, cool. I do. I think the cashew is my favorite, although it's really expensive, so I very rarely eat them. At least in the in the the US cashews are hella expensive. I don't know if they're that expensive in other places, but holy crap. Yeah, it's not a real checkpoint. No, it's content time when I verify this and rest in peace, but rest in peace is only gonna be top forty or so. I would say I'm about halfway done with fixing that level up, but it's such a chore. No return zero, the level was canceled. <laughs> I have to tell you guys, dude. So you know my, my the new montage I posted. It uses a song I found playing Mania. I really liked it. I was like, this could be a, make a good montage, right? Someone commented saying unironically that I was a Poindexter for picking that song, which I have never in my life been called that word. I I was in shock reading that comment. A fucking a, a fucking Poindexter. That's crazy. That is crazy! When is the last time you guys even saw that word? That is, I was in shock. I was in shock at that word even being on my screen. I did not, like, I don't know why, but it was just so surprising to me, that word. That's, it's just, it's crazy. That's crazy. I, I'm owned. That's what I said. That's literally what I said. I replied saying, you using that word makes you like a million times more of one than I'll ever be. Because what the fuck? Who, who uses the word point? Oh my god. Fun's over. I gotta charge my headphones. Bet it up. I was just in shock. Yeah, shout out. You're right, it might be over. Thank you, thank you. I lost that haircut in 2019.
Alright, take care, man. <laughs> okay. They got you playing fastest crash. I like that map. Last time I was happy. I was happy one hour ago when I was arguing on Twitter about something that didn't matter. That's the last time I was happy. Before that, it was... Trying to think when it was... It was like either last... Yeah, I think it was last night. I was like on a Discord call and... My friend Yosh was like screen sharing the most insane videos ever. It was like the most entertaining thing. It was like... It started out, we were playing like Guess the Flag Country, and then it was like Guess the, 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 the cartoon series from the intro or whatever. And it was like, watch these marble little colorful pendulums. And then it was like, Just Dance Angry Birds video. I don't know, Yosh was like finding the most insane videos to watch of all time. It was like the most entertained I've ever been watching someone screen share. I was ridiculously entertained. Yo, what's up, Light? Yeah, this is, uh, this is real shit, as they would call it. Yeah, it was crazy. I was surprised at how many cartoons I knew, like, the theme song of. Because, like, even if I didn't watch the cartoon, like, you know when you were a kid and you'd be watching, like, Cartoon Network or whatever, and then a show would come on you didn't want to watch, you'd still hear the intro for it and be like, oh, not Clarence again, for instance, and then you would change the channel. So you still know the intro to the thing without having to watch it. I did not fuck with Clarence, I'm, I'm sorry to say. We were not on the same wavelength. That's so stupid. Oh yeah, the one where he's like flying like up and down and like hitting all the walls and everything. I swear that's gotta be like a joke tweet. Like, I honestly think if I gave like, like the controls to my mom, that's how my ship control would look. I am not even kidding. Like, one-to-one, -one, that's what they would look like. Come on, I'm so far to the right, that's why. You hate Teen Titans? What?! Unforgivable. That Teen Titans was gas. The first one, obviously, not the, uh, Teen Titans Go. The actual, like, Teen Titans was gas. <laughs> that is a really funny thing to say. It does look like the beginning of this AI video where it's like, it looks like the beginning of that Trackmania AI video where it's just, like, falling off randomly because it's doing random shit. I've seen a, like, I, I saw a few episodes of Teen Titans Go. Some of them were so bad, but some of them were actually pretty funny. I'm not even gonna lie, when I was a kid. Obviously, I can't speak for now. You know what show is definitely still funny now, though? Gravity Falls. Like, I would probably still watch that now. And not be like, this is bad. Like, I'd probably just continue to watch it. Literally, like, the funniest show ever invented. Fuck. 
to me, like, the three best cartoons I ever watched as a kid were Phineas and Ferb, Gravity Falls, and Amazing World of Gumball. When Gumball was funny, dude, it was unmatched. Like, when, when they had those episodes where they were really on their game, funniest show of all time, I think. It was ridiculous. Those were like the holy three for me. When I was a kid, those were like the three I looked out for. Dang, that was just a funny ass show, bro. I'm telling you. I've no idea what I haven't been in front of a, like a TV that would display cartoons at random intervals in a very long time. You know, something that happened when I was in like, you know, middle school and high school. I don't have a, I don't have a TV with cable or whatever. So I don't even like know what they put on now. Gravity Falls sounds mid from the explanation on IMDb. That's probably because they can't even explain anything without spoiling anything. Like, trust me, it's really good. I don't even know what you would make the synopsis of Gravity Falls. Yeah. Well, a lot of the shows they keep going kind of suck. Like The Simpsons, for for instance. The Simpsons is not very good. Now. Same with SpongeBob, I'm sure. I never really watched SpongeBob due to my mom. Dude, it's gotta be so hard to come up with a new concept for The Simpsons. Not because of like coming up with a new thing, but like when you come up with a new thing, you gotta look through every episode and make sure you haven't done it before. Yeah. I know exactly what you mean though. Like, like there was like this, there's this one bit in an Oni Plays video about like they're all playing like Yoshi's Island and something happens I could never accurately describe that made me literally like die like as in it like a straight full ass adult you know what I mean like a, like a whole ass adult 20 years old like I couldn't breathe for like two minutes or something at this like bit that they were doing it was ridiculous but like I could show that to you guys and you wouldn't even like find it that funny Right, because it was like it like randomly like hit all the correct buttons to like make it so I laugh as hard as humanly possible. You know what I mean? Like You wouldn't you wouldn't find it funny. I'm telling you. If you want to find it, look up like Oni plays Yoshi's Island. It's like the first one or something. Like the, the first episode. And just watch it. I'm not even gonna tell you where it is, because then you would ruin it for you. You wouldn't expect it. Or like you would expect it so it wouldn't be I don't know how to put it. I don't know when I'll beat this. Never. Except sometimes. No, I don't actually, I actually have not watched that much of any place. Like I've seen a few episodes. But it's only because like uh, a friend of mine will like send me an episode. I think it's pronounced Oni Plays. But I don't know. Who's to say, really? I'm 
except for them, probably. They, they probably know what, to, what it's called. Fuck. Well, Xerox always plays Watch, but this is not new at all. I was on the bridge two days ago. You're right. Quit the game. <laughs> Didn't play it for one day equals. Thank you, thank you. care about any top one because I think Tidal Wave is the best. And Tidal Wave is a better top one than whatever top one comes next by default, I would say. Like, I legitimately think that. So I hope none of them ever come out. Yeah, and a past its demise, new level. Exactly, theme, 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 theme. That's all. Another of those levels have theme, real theme that matters. Like, there's a theme and no obstructing decoration. That's literally all you need. Theme of no obstructing decoration. Why does every top one have to have like a million obstructing pieces of deco? that make it like annoying as fuck to actually play. Why? Why can't it just be like Tidal Wave where you can clearly see what you're, what's happening, what you're avoiding at all times? Much more fun. I think the theme is executed like super awesome level. That's what I think. And then QQ is purple. No. QQ is more than just purple. No, it's pronounced QQ. Probably. I don't think I'd say it like that if I was saying it in Japanese, so maybe not. It's like I said, cockmuck, I guess. It's probably more like Kyoki in reality. Yeah. I don't think there is a Q noise in Japanese. <laughs> like, Kyo is not Q. <laughs> what music do you guys want to listen to today? You gotta think about it. Oh yeah, you're right, actually. Yeah, I would pronounce that Q. You, I, you win! I'm an idiot. I didn't factor that in.
We were halfway through anyway. Why not? No, 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 no. I'm always back. I'll always be back. Something wrong? Not really. It's just hot. It should be over today, though. to turn into a food. Hmm. No other choice. I have to be a food. I guess I'll be like... I don't even know what I want to be. I'll be a hearty bowl of mac and cheese. Cannot beat it under 4K attempt. Sorry for the spoiler. I'm not a hater. Come on. It's not, I'm not even trying to be offensive. It's just the the way it's going. It's going to continue. If you see a graph that goes like this, right? You expect the next point to be here, not way up there. That's called logic. Oh my God, bro. That's okay, that's not true either. The second half of Future Funk is definitely harder. I know this intimately now. Not according to my calculations, it's not. Does <laughs> have any CPS? No, this is all low CPS stuff. Which is good, because I'm slow. I'm a slow and methodical player. But that dash orb is be tough. It would just have to be timed. It could be like that one. It could be you could do fast left and right stuff actually. I wish I wasn't so tired today. I think it's the heat getting to my brain. My brain. I, I mean, I really like Peggy's producing a lot. I mean, I like both their production. They're just different.
Oh, if you think I'm if you think I'm not gonna use Click Between Frames, you're wrong. By the way, I'm verifying rest in peace on Click Between Frames. Sorry. Lol. Look outside of frames. Isn't it cheating? By only that definition, yeah, but that doesn't encompass what it actually does or why it should be implemented. Non-binary clicks. It literally just makes it so your inputs actually happen when you click, as opposed to waiting for the next available frame. It just makes it more it makes it more accurate and every PC player can get it for free. It literally balances out the game by the way more because it also like if you are running on a lower if you're like running on a lower tier computer, you can still play at a high level because of click between frames. It's on Geo, yeah. Well, that's really cool. I'm just wasting my time here. I'm probably just gonna go for it. Or let me, uh. Let me play from here a little bit more. Really? Didn't know that. Thank you for the info I had no idea about. There's always something new, even if it doesn't matter at all, there's always something, you know? I'm reading both. How did Mega Rayquaza change Pokemon forever? Was it like really broken or something? I don't even know like the best Pokemon competitively. It's probably some bullshit. Like fucking like like Blissey. Or like Smeargle. Shuckle. <laughs> I don't know anything about like the newer ones. No, I didn't rage so hard I quit. I just had to go to bed. I had an appointment at like 10 a.m. the next day. It was like two or something. Crap. 
my nose pass. Nose pass seems like it'd be pretty good. Are there too many counters to shed ninja for shed ninja to be useful? I wonder. I think everyone's probably thinking about that in advance. Shedding is pretty cool. Yeah, that's true. A lot can take it out. I never really knew anything about it. I always just got the Pokemon I like the most. My team right now is, uh, I think me and Eli are both doing a full shiny playthrough, and we're gonna like battle each other when he comes back. Uh, my team thus far is Sceptile, Minoon, Melodic, um, Altaria, and I'm trying to get a Mesprit. A shiny mess for it right now. For my psychic. And then I think I want a fire. I think I want uh, a Vulpix for my fire. No idea what that is. Mm. Tiny Melodic and Auras. Yeah, it's easy. You just chain fish a Phoebus. I don't remember a lot of like the X and Y exclusives. Or not exclusives, but like new ones. Is Clef Key like the keychain one? I might actually know. For some reason, like I like an image of it flashed to my head, but I was like, I, I like ignored it because I was like, probably not what that is. I guess it really was that. I should have just said it. Pretty good team, it feels like. I think Team Magma would do better if they didn't only have like Poochina as like their only team member. I think that would help them out a lot if they tried that out. Or like Numel. They should try that next time they wanna make the whole earth ground or whatever. Say it out loud, to be fair. You hate cat and dog lovers? Why? I love my dog. Her name's Elsie. She's doing well. She turned 14 this year. She's still doing well. She's still she's still alive and kicking. According to my parents, she's still rather feisty. So I'm glad that she still has some life in her. I'm gonna go see her in a month.
17, wow. I knew this one dog that lived up to like 20 or something. It was crazy. I don't know what the fuck was going on there. That was wild. Really? I know nothing about the later generation Pokemon because I just didn't really care to play them. No, I know about the dog who lived to 31, but that doesn't diminish the fact that knowing a dog who lived to 20 is a cool thing, you know? It's like if I like ran a 100 meter time and then someone was like, oh, dude, but Usain Bolt ran at like a 10 seconds, so what are you, what are you even doing here? Like, okay, I guess. Wow, that's messed up. Is there a way to make slacking so he doesn't fall asleep every other turn? I feel like he'd be really strong if that wasn't a thing. Or not fall asleep, but like not do anything for every other turn. Yeah, if Truman was in his ability, was, he would destroy everyone. Every time we got an attack up, I was like, whoa, okay, holy crap, let's never, you know that when you get attacked and you, you see your health bar, it's like, uh-oh, that's accelerating at a speed I was not prepared for. Please stop. That's facts. I see. Jesus Christ. 160 on attack. 160 on attack is wild, dude. Na, 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 na. That's one of the classics. I played the level that this was in a long time ago. Not a long time ago. But I, like, it's, I was crossed as fuck. So I so barely remember it. But it was like, I just remember I existed in this world. You know, it's like the, it's like the place with all the, the, uh, the vines. And like, there's like barrels that like send you different directions or whatever. Yeah, I remember that about, about him. Mm. It is. Wow, I moved that up. That's the song goes like, speak Spanish. I hope I can speak Japanese moderately soon. I want to be able to speak Japanese semi-fluently. Not semi-fluently, but like enough where I can get around before next summer, which is a challenge, but I think I can do it.
What? Neutralizing gas? That's a, when, when did when when did they introduce neutralizing gas? I don't remember ever seeing that. Is that like new? Gen eight. Okay, I was gonna say I I've never no, I've seen no neutralizing gas. I thought they would just break everything. Mm -hmm. It feels like the different Pokemon gens are just like like different JoJo parts, where you just get to a new area and they just have new abilities unlocked that were just not available in the previous time for some random reason. Neutralizing gas is so funny, dude. I don't know why. That's a concept. No. We've talked about this before. The best way to gamble, don't gamble, but if you're going to gamble, it's blackjack, right? We've talked about this before. Every other game is not in your favor. If you actually want to get up to some 50-50 shit, that's how you do it. It asked my Septa if I wanted to learn like like Leaf Storm or whatever, and like I'm using like like Grass Blade or whatever, which is like 80 power, 100 act. And it asked me if I wanted to learn like Leaf Storm, which was like 130 power, but it's like 70 act or something, and it also has five PP as opposed to 25 or whatever I have on Grass Blade. So I just didn't even get it. It also like lowers your special defense. 26,000 on shiny purple? What, what game, buddy? Jesus Christ, man. Yeah, wow. Holy shit. The afraid does crit a lot. I um Yeah, I'm doing I'm doing another full on hunt for Mesprit right now. And I'm at like I'm only up like five hundred. But I needed to do another full out time because I realized I couldn't watch JoJo anymore. Because I can't just sit there and watch JoJo. I was like, I need to be, you know? How would I ever stream it? I'm like on like a 3DS and I'm watching JoJo. <laughs> Cosmo Clam, that's how you do it. I said that story before, but that's exactly how my parents did it. They gambled one time in their life, they walked into a casino, made a hundred bucks, and then left, and never stepped foot in whatever again. They used that shit as the ATM.
I guess they have to make the new gens more broken though, right? Like a little bit. Otherwise people would only use the old gen Pokemon a lot of the time. And people and the and the, the developers probably wanna see. Like people use the new Pokemon as opposed to just the old ones that they know already. Which I mean I kinda get that honestly. I have a favorite Pokemon? Probably just Sceptile. He's my day one, dude. Mm hmm. Dude, Trico? Sceptile Shiny is like pretty good, but like Trico and Grovile Shiny are fucking sick, dude. how they made it. Yeah, Pokemon Go does not count because it's like the odds are very, very high. They should have kept the odds as 8,192. It's kind of, it kind of sucks knowing full odds are still two times as likely as they are in the old ones, but it's whatever. It's still insanely unlikely, so it's fine. But, you know. I feel like they shouldn't have shiny locked that Poochina and, and Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Like, it's so funny. <laughs> they should just let that shit be shiny, Loki. Same with the Ralts. You do, I need to beat it in order to verify it. There's no, there's no checkpoints. So you just have to do it all in one go. Yeah, I don't know, the concept of seeing a shiny that you can't catch is hilarious. Like they should just keep that. That's so funny. It's not gonna happen to that many people, probably. And you know, I know a lot of people who hunted Trico in like Ruby Sapphire um, found a shiny Puccino before they ever found a uh, <laughs> Trico. I think it's funny. I think it's part of the experience. I like it. Very fair. And yeah, I've seen videos where some people get like straight up like five Puccinas before they get a Trico. It's crazy. Quavum, good day to you. How you doing? Shady, thank you so much for the sub. I'm doing all right. It's been okay. Just a little tired today is all. But we're chilling. You got ghosted by Culver's? That would make me terrible. That would make me feel terrible, yeah. Yeah, my four hours of sleep from Deep Dip. But that's not actually why I got such a little sleep, but that's another story. I'm so excited because very soon, let me look at when, when soon is. Yes! It was 93 an hour ago, and now it's 70. It's finally cooling off. Now I just have to get the hot air out of my house. And we're chilling. 
I'll probably wake up with literally the worst headache of all time tomorrow, but who the fuck cares? It'll be cold. That's all I care about. I try competitive Pokemon, that sounds fun. Lucky. I've literally never tried such things before. Remember that Pokemon roguelike someone mentioned? Yeah, I remember someone mentioned it and the next thing I heard about it, the developer quit because they like were like, I need to focus on God or something. That's all I really know about it. Cannot have been that long of a time range. I've explained in detail why, why I'm not religious before. Agnostic, because I think atheism is uh, hubris in a way. Or like, you're kind of also, in my brain, you're also kind of saying you know the answer if you're an atheist. Because agnostic is the one where it's like, I don't fucking know. And I don't. No, it's just where you, like, think, like, there could be some sort of higher power, I guess. Because atheism is, like, very definitively, there is no higher power at all. And it's like, that seems like a pretty definitive thing to say. You know? For something that we don't know. Kanye Zest. <sighs> Thank you, Gert. That's atheist if you think there's nothing exactly, like, there can't be anything. And I mean, logically that is the way I think about it, but also I can't know for certain, there's no way. I will never quote unquote find God. He hates me if he exists. He hates me. I want no part of him. No part of him. Absolutely zilch. Ugh. Let's give him a million health issues that no doctor could ever explain. Yeah, where is he? Can can you point to a map? I only get heated because if he exists, then he did this to me. That's crazy. You know, just vomit up random red mucus all day. I don't want to find him, bro. That guy's got an out for my ass. Let's make him allergic to grass. So we can't go outside. No, 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 
no, no, no, no, no, no, no. I know exactly what you mean. See, see that cosmic claim. That's exactly what's happening to me all the time. But I don't know why, and no one can explain it. Like exactly what happened right there with like air pressure. Air pressure is like a part of it too. Like pressure changes completely fucked me up. I think something's wrong with all that. I don't take naps. Or my body won't let me take naps, I guess. I'm a consulted web MD. <laughs> yeah. I've consulted many people. It's okay, guys. My doctor pretty much told me what the fuck today, so I'm happy about that. Finally. You know how many doctors have seen that I mentioned all this and they're like, oh, 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 whatever. I think seeing red, I showed him the images and he said, what the fuck, which is what I actually want my doctor to say about it. Because it's like, yeah, that's not normal. Yeah. Ow! What the fuck? Ah! Apparently I'm a million years old because I'm gonna break my back. I'm 21. I think as a 21 year old, I should be able to do cardio. I miss that. I miss cardio and going outside. I'm only mad about it right now because I was just, I was just at the doctor's office, so it's still like fresh in my brain. You guys know what I mean? I don't really play slots now. There's nothing for me to really do in there for me. If God exists, I regret how I live my life. Not at all, because there's no logical thing that I could have, like, pointed to and been like, yes, God is real because of this, right? So in my eyes, I can only act logically in the manner at which I can. And if there is a God, he will have to understand that because I can only do what makes sense to me right now. Logically, right? If he truly is understanding and forgiving and whatever, he'll understand that. He'll be like, yeah, you're right. There was no physical proof of me. It's chill, you know? All I've ever done in my life is try to make people happy. And I don't think that's a, a, a non-noble thing to do. You know what I mean? I think that's a fine way to live. It's All I want is to be happy, make others happy, and experience cool things. I think if there is a God, then those fuckers that hoard one billion billion dollars and do nothing with it should be the ones that should be worried. I don't think someone like me should have to care about that. Ugh. Has Bucky played GD? I don't think Bucky's ever touched GD in his, GD in his life. <laughs> I think I think another sort of stuff too. I really do think most people that have that much money are like. I don't think they ever meant to be evil, but they just kept going down that rabbit hole. And now they don't even see reality for what it is at all. You know what I mean? So that does make them evil. I'm not trying to justify it at all. But I'm just saying, I don't think people wake up and they're like, oh, I'm going to be evil now. You know what I mean? But it's just like they've become that because of so many years of continued like negligence and self-rationalization and avoidance and such. Into the, uh, the point where they're just like, I deserve it. I deserve all this. And they genuinely believe that. Evil. They sound like this song.
I've had people tell me that my ailments would be cured if I just believed in God, and I get so mad every time that someone says that. <laughs> that is a crazy line. Oh, I'm sure some billionaires are just genuinely. Well, I mean, I mean, I think they all are kind of evil to some extent, but there's a there's a range, you know. There's there's. And I absolutely do buy into the idea that a lot of them do things that if they were public, then it, the outrage would be huge. But they're able to just pay everyone off that would ever say anything about it. I do believe that. I mean, I guess that's not that crazy of a thing to believe, right? How long did Epstein keep it going for? More money than people on Earth is so crazy. Like, if you really think about that. It's just so... Oh, well, that's no secret at all. That's not a conspiracy at all. Billionaires avoid taxes like crazy. The people who pay the majority of the taxes in, like, respect to their income are, like... Random people, you know what I mean? It's Hammer, thank you so much for the two dollars. I'm happy for you. My oatmeal was, it was okay. I ate a granola bar I shouldn't have eaten before it, and it kind of ruined the taste, so. But I was like really hungry. So I was, I was just out running a million errands and what have you. Nothing can't come from nothing, so there has to be a creator. But is that true? Why is there you're 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 adding a human personification to the situation? We're just such a small part of this universe, you know? What even is something? What even is like it? Yeah, and also that key like it sounds logical at first, but then when you think about it, it doesn't make any sense. It's like, okay, so some guy made it? Why would- why? What's with all that other stuff, right? <laughs> like... I just think we're trying to like find some human answer to why it all exists, you know what I mean? But I think the reality of why ever this exists you probably can't even describe it with words like why or exist or create. It probably exists in a plane. If like whatever caused all this probably exists in a plane that the UI we use to interpret the world doesn't even work. Like it, like nothing makes any sense. Completely indescribable nonsense. Do you know how much wealth the top 1% of uh, the country has, by the way? Because if they genuinely only pay 40, if the top one only pays 45%, that's crazy. Do you know how much percent of the wealth they have in this country? It's like a lot more than you think it is. You should, you should look it up. Yeah, but they would never. And also, you have to understand, a lot of them get away with paying those taxes in a lot of ways that... 
Yeah, they literally have, I think, like 90% of the wealth of the entire country. Like the top 1%. Or something like insane like that. I think one of my favorite billionaire moments is when Elon Musk was like, how much money to fix world hunger or something? And the UN actually got back to him like $6 billion. And then in response, he ignored that and then bought Twitter for 44 billion or whatever. That's a classic. That will always be a classic right there. Evil. Like, actually pure devil horns, man. Crazy, bro. Standing up to double end world hunger. Yeah, I love billionaires. They're the best. Yes. You want to know the real truth about why they don't just instantly end world hunger? Because it's profitable for things, for stuff like, like we could end homelessness, but it's not profitable. We could end world hunger, not profitable. There is profit to be made off people struggling. We need to find a way to capitalize that on that. Instead of paying money, we can gain money. That's the idea they get in their head and then... No, I couldn't profit off of ending World Hunger because there's no desperation enough for it, for it. And I'm a bet there's systems in place. There's people working behind the shadows that if you are a billionaire and you attempt to do that, it will go awry. One way or another by means of either controlling the operations by which that money gets to the project which it's getting to, or just straight up just intimidation by force, not allowing them to do that. We're at the complicated place. I don't know, man. You do gotta wonder what goes on in their heads. There's so much behind the behind the curtain we'll probably never see. But people don't see it that way, you know? But it, because people are seeing it as like a high score to gain, it's ruining so many people's lives. Inflation is so bad in the US right now. I don't think people realize how bad it is. Caught buying anything is ridiculous right now. And it was not that bad even like a few years ago. I don't remember that well, but my brain is telling me even as far away as like 2019, 
or 2020, you could get stuff at like a fast food place for like three dollars. You want to get like a full combo at Wendy's now, it could cost you like twelve dollars. Thirteen. Obviously, that's not the same like thing, but like I remember you could get you could get a full like you could get a you could get a chicken sandwich and fries for like six bucks or seven bucks. That same thing is literally like eleven dollars right now. And that's just all across the board. Yep. It's starting to get to the point where if you want to eat a simple meal for yourself, it's going to cost you like 10 bucks. If you want to eat out, it's going to be 20 minimum. It's crazy. Mind you, uh, the uh, people behind these corporations have been seeing record profits recently. The companies have been doing better than ever. It's not like this is uh, the economy's doing so bad that we need to do it thing. Oh yeah, Joe Biden will fix it. Let's go. <laughs> uh, the world. It's really cool that also like the people that are actually like responsible for that sort of thing probably don't even care because in their brains like what they have to spend twenty dollars for a meal that's like zero point zero zero one percent of like their like daily income it's me Eli, it's a good day. The temperature has finally dropped below 90. I should wake up and my house won't be on fire now. No, because I think something really bad would happen if we voted Trump. What is, what is it? Guys, someone knows more about this than I do. I think he threatened to make changes that would fuck everything up. Not that it's already not fucked up, but like even more fucked up than before. Project Wall. <laughs> Yeah, I barely look anyway. I just know something something really bad would happen. I should I should look closer so I decide I'm ran I'm probably gonna have to vote for Biden, I guess. But Biden. I want something else. I want something else. Yeah, I think a lot of people are probably starting to think that. In reality, I don't think this has fuck all to do with Trump or Biden. This stupid economy. 
both of them are not going to take the stance they need to like you can vote for each one one i think that problem stays the same no matter what you do because neither of them are going to stand up to the to the actual problem mm -hmm. Maybe. We we theoretically have a lot of years to live left, so we can't keep doing this forever, right? like new candidates to vote for that aren't these two you know what i mean but that will be in 2028 can you even fathom that year i don't think i've ever thought about the year 2028 in my entire life except for right now That is like humorously far away. I don't know. I think we just end it all when 2030 hits. It's over for us. We lose. Like, what do we even, what do you do? It's over, yeah. It's cooked. Six more years is not that long. When you wake up and you realize it's another day, and then you wake up and it's another day, and then you realize a week's gone by, and hey, there's only 51 weeks in a year, right? Uh, and there goes another week. Six years? Pretty much right here. You know, it's very far away, but it's also, if you choose in action, you know? That's something I think about a lot. That's why I need to get better. That's why I'm so sick of waiting a month every time for another appointment where nothing happens. Because it just keeps going forever. We'll be in our, yeah, we will be, I will 28. I'll be 28 years old. 28. I will be 28 in 2020. Like that's crazy. Time speeds up as you get older. Yeah, but I think, um, to be fair, like 2020, 2021, I think those years were one year. I legitimately think 2020 and 2021 were a single year in my brain. I don't think any, like 2023 and 2024 have been going, and 2022 have been going kind of fast, but nothing compared to, like that was literally one year. Those two years. No, 2022 and 2023 had a lot of distinct things that happened in them, so I remember them very vividly. You're right, time is just moving forever. Before you know it, it's Thanksgiving, and then before you know it, it's summer again, and it just keeps on going. I'll never forget 2022 though. That, that year was something else. It really, that, there's so much that happened in the span of that time frame. Maybe. Things were just fucking happening to me in 2022. I don't know about the rest of the world. 
Ah, uh, I remember it very vividly. In 2023, I don't give a fuck about 2023. Nothing really happened that year. I believe it, yeah. I hope I never get addicted to anything. And I'm proud of you for making it through it, and anyone who ever does make it through addiction. I did beat two new hardest in 2023, that was pretty memorable. But that's like it, Loki. That's like all I did that year. That was like interesting. No, I went to Japan. That was interesting. That talk about not real. Imagine all you do all day is sit in your house and play video games because that's all you really can do. And then all of a sudden you're in fucking Japan for a like for a month, and then you're back. That's weird. That feels like you had like some crazy dream or something. Because when you get back, then you're just like, I I don't know. The only reason I could go to Japan is because my body hadn't, like, because it's so unique, it, it, it isn't allergic to anything there. I'm allergic to specific types of grass, but nothing that was there. So it was, it was like, fine. It was weird. Because I mean, I've explained it a million times. My uncle moved there and we wanted to visit him. I'll go back. God, I got so mad though that I didn't understand anything. I had to quit college long ago, 2022. I want to get back at it, but it's hard due to many factors. Favorite color is green. Can you tell? College is almost a scam to some degree, but I need to get a degree. I don't want to be a math professor, which is still my main main choice. I think. I got so sick after 2022 that it stopped becoming 2020. Like it felt like a different, different year. Yeah. Oh, it's very scammy. It's so expensive for what you're getting.
You'll be alright, man. It's just the it's just you're probably allergic to pollen. That's the thing about uh spring and summer allergies. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you a secret. All you gotta do is make it to July and it'll be fine. You just have to make it to July. That's the fight I'm fighting right now. It's like April to June is just the death zone. I'm in the middle of it and it's terrible. My skin is just completely rashed. It's terrible. Fall allergies, that sucks. Never, I ain't never had that. The fall is like my best time. I'm so good in the fall. We're back in the fall, you know what I mean? All you do is send messages in my chat and make other people send messages in my chat. That's all you do. So you beat it? Probably not because you have no friends. If you get to the end of the level and you have no friends, then none of the keys flash. They're all red and then they just start moving and you just have to guess. It can it knows whether or not you have any friends. I know what you mean, Jorg. That's how I felt. I don't even know what I want, really. Yeah. Your itchy warm is pretty common. Okay, Matt, what was, what's the best percentage you got today? You don't want to say... Matt, what'd you do? Matt, what did you do? He did not get 97. Nice. Yeah, that's that's what I gathered from that, from reading up on that as well. You know what? Failed the keys from 31. Oh, Matt, you know what that means? You're gonna fail the keys from real, too. Yeah, it's really weird when that happens, Dasher. I don't really get it. I hope my allergies just go away one day like that and then come back. Well, no, no they don't come back. Yo, Vicky and Otto, thank you so much for the uh, thank you so much for the tier three membership. Really appreciate that. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you're having a good day. Matt, I'm gonna tell you this, and you're not gonna believe me, okay? But the key is going to be purple. I wouldn't even bother focusing on the pattern and just go for purple. Yo, Dynamic, thank you so much for the sub. Give me 27 months, my guy. I don't have to imagine, I am right. I hope that that happens to you, yeah. I need you to get cooked up. How do I know it's gonna be purple? 
I just know. That was Jacob coded what I just said. I apologize. Yo, Vicky and I thank you for the 20 gifted memberships. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Big ups, man. Thank you, dude. Congratulations on becoming green, chat. Exciting stuff happening in the YouTube dimension. Thank you so much for the 20 gifted, man. I really appreciate that. It goes a long way. Thank you. Well, because I don't have a beach. What is the beach? I'm in New York. I wish I had a beach, though. I wish I, I, w I really do wish I had one. Okay, thank you for the 20 more gifted memberships, Vicky and Otto. Really appreciate that. Thank you. Maybe you'll get it now, people who didn't get it. You gotta allow gifts off? That's a thing you can do? Holy crap. Let's go YouTube. And there's dinner. Thank you. Yeah, we're actually doing like, nothing, no one. Embarrassing. Oh no, I love the beach. I've been there a few times, but not as much as I like. No, there's like a thing called restream. It's pretty cool. And you can do the free one and it removes the watermark. It says it's not going to remove the watermark, but it does remove the watermark. I don't know why. No, you can just do the default and it will remove the watermark. Oh my God, they give me the 50 gifted memberships. Holy crap, dude. Thank you, <laughs> Vicky Otto, thank you so much. Holy crap. That's literally going to start gifting it to people that aren't even on the, like, the stream. It's just going to start gifting it to random. Like, people are just going to check the notification and just get it from, like, random sources. Holy shit, dude. Thank you so much for that. Fuck. 50 gifted on top of 40. That is crazy, dude. Thank you so much. Oh, my God, dude. Low key, dude. Thank you, dude. Yeah, that makes pretty much everyone a member. I can't believe people are not members at that point. Because what? There's only like 100 people in the YouTube chat. Math would dictate that I would not be seeing this many gray names right now. 20 plus 20 plus 50 is 300 gifts, yeah. Breeze Force Bankroll. That is the kind of event that just makes it produce for his song start playing. This, that's crazy. Thank you so much, dude. That's true. It is, hey, that's true. It is, it's still slowly gifting away the 50. I don't know what it's doing. It doesn't just give them the viewers, it gives them to all subscribers completely randomly. No, but then there wouldn't be that many green names in the chat. <laughs> Thank you for the one gifted membership, Vicky Nato. Lucky guy. Oh yeah, the, the quick time. The flippy. Does it actually just gift it to random? No, it can't, because there wouldn't be that many. Think about it. I have like, what, like, uh, like, like 300,000 subs? Getting it would be like shiny hunt success rate. Like you wouldn't get one if it was, yeah. That would literally be like. <laughs> yeah, literally nobody here would have gotten a gift. Mm -hmm. 
That is crazy. Yeah, 50 out of 300k. What, 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 are, what are the numbers on that? That's like, uh, think of the two Canadian cooker bag. Uh, I can't do math. 60k. It's a 1 in 60k, I think, if it was like that. Okay, I see. I'm a little distracted. Thank you so much. That's it. That seriously does go a long way. There's no way to like say it real, but. I'm gonna have to agree. If you do, if you didn't just get a membership, then probably you don't want to play the lottery. It's not gonna work out for you. No, nope. no one played the lottery. None of us are gonna get it, except for Eli. Eli's the only one who has a chance due to factors unknown. You say this every time. What kind of Twitch Golden Ninja? Free drop is kicking my ass right now. <laughs> Free drop. If you lose, you can just try again. Yeah, but then you lose money. That does sound pretty bad. Crazy incentive though to like bro is like adding like loot box mechanics to your classroom. That's crazy. Fuck. Oh well, this is not want me to get. Is that really? I think so, but we'll see what Rob Top thinks. Ugh. Mucus in the airway. <laughs> Just keep taking out loans until you win a billion dollars and pay back the loans. They tried that uh, strategy before. And it worked for some people. And by some people, I mean like almost no one. But it is a strategy that I've heard people try. I also know there's the one story of the bank, like the bank worker that like literally robbed the bank, put it all into lottery tickets, made like three times the amount and then put like the normal amount back or something insane like that. You gotta be like insane to do that. And then he tried it again and it didn't work because how did it ever work the first time? And then he was screwed. Just totally insane stuff. I don't even get it, dude. You know that video, you know what I'm talking about? How'd he run out? Why did he try again? I don't know. Yeah, he thought he thought he like, he thought he did the math. He was like, you know, the odds add up. Yeah, like he's, he was set. How did he, what did he even do to mess that up? I don't even understand whatever, dude.
and it maybe wasn't very smart, I guess. I mean, to play the lottery or to have any plan that legitimately has the lottery as a stage in your plan, you have to be stupid. Like, there's no other way. You're right, I should do that. That, no one would fuck with me if I just, yeah. If red mucus started coming out. I, I don't know a single person I'm playing the one back, at least back up, you know what I mean? Okay, yeah, you're right. If there was a plan that actually involved rigging the lottery and it works, well then, hmm, they better not catch you. Well, this isn't one part, this is just the level. And it's slow at the beginning. Bring lottery off the grid. Yeah. The problem is going off the grid though is I have friends. <laughs> This is the problem with any story that goes like that. That's like unironic. It's like, okay, now what? Yeah. Rigged the lottery and then we go live in some like fucking. Yeah. Somewhere. Yeah, that's a good idea. We need... We need to win the lottery. Just normally. Let's just win it normally. All by five, take it two by five. That should be enough. Just get lucky. Ford Hunt shiny tickets. Then we'd win. People who do that, uh, my dad called it the stupid person tax. And I think that's a good way to say it. Like putting like a bit every week into the lottery to see if you win. They should make a version of the lottery where you don't have to pay, because then I'd be in. Like, that sounds fun as hell. But how do you fund it? Like, I think the concept of the lottery without that you have to pay money to do it, it's like, it'd be fun. Odds are fun. They're always fun. You know what I mean? But not if it ruins your life. Do people done with the lottery money? Probably nothing. They probably bought a bunch of stuff, but then they didn't have like a plan to make that money into more money, right? If you get that amount of money, then you just probably like, what you actually realistically do if you win the lottery. But again, you would have to be thinking to do any of this, right? Which a lot of them aren't. You would like contact some bank and then you would get set up with somebody like advisor who will like do all the shit for you. They'll put the money into like stocks and everything and Put it into like safe stuff that slowly grows over time or whatever. And then you literally never have to do anything again in your entire life. Crazy to think of the sub. Oh yeah, you get taxed super heavily on lottery winnings, but I mean for any like substantial thing, that's still it's still like a gazillion. Right? Yeah. But people don't think about that sort of thing. I see you, by the way, over spamming the heart emoji on YouTube. I see it. For some reason. Mm 
That sounds fun. This song isn't complete without Cranky Kong being like, Rahaha! You guys know what I mean? And then he says some text like, What are you talking about? You're gonna die now! Goodbye! This is Cranky Kong. We, me and Mitch played through the whole game 100% recently. It was super fun. One of the best platformers ever made, maybe, I think. Fuck. This level is fun. That's why I played it for as long as I have. I enjoy it. It's fun to be this good at a thing, like, uh, that's of this skill level, because your fingers just kind of do it, you know what I mean? Like, you don't have to think about the individual inputs anymore, you just kind of get it going. People have been saying, like, that things have the juice for, like, a million years, I swear to God. That's Bane, I feel like. Although I can't remember 100%. I know some people that play platformer on WSD or just some like weird ass control scheme that makes no sense. <sighs> ah. That part. GD is a side hustle for Rob. GD is not a side hustle for Rob. What do you mean? There's no way this hasn't gotten like a gazillion dollars. Did it work? Did you get the person off mouse for Celeste? No, I think he's running the farm for fun. Like, just because he wants to. I don't think he has to. I think that would count as a side hustle. Yeah. Main hustle. Main hustle. Uh, there's no way. Yeah. You're going nuts if you think that that's not his main like source of income. Probably. But isn't that like illegal? To like sell like a main? Cause wouldn't it have to be like, is there, is a main like only a lion's main or can it be like anything? Or like, what does the word main mean really? Cause I only know it when it, when it's like in conjunction with lion. Like you don't, probably. I, I have no idea. I literally have no idea. But it sounds like you wouldn't just make that work for just lions. That sounds stupid. Like, there's some specific words. Like, not, like, some animals have tusks, right? There's a bunch of animals with tusks, so it would make sense that, like, animals would have a mane. Horses mane? That sounds real. That sounds like a real thing. That's true, we have slang. I was saying that more a good bit a few years ago. Hokey main. I didn't think about that. There we go. That solves all of our issues right there. I'm glad that had a peaceful resolution. The end. Mm. 
Yeah. <laughs> like, it's, there's no way. It's so much in the cash department. Horses main and lion's main, is that it? Is that the end of our options? Yeah. I love, I, that's why I love shimming, because you never know, you know what I mean? Somebody's just gonna start talking about some random shit, and I love random shit, that's all I do. So, more than welcome here. <laughs> Butter churning right now. How do they make butter now? Do they have to churn it really? I don't even know how butter really works. I just know it's like milk they did something to. Like a lot of dairy, I guess. I don't really know how dairy becomes all the forms. Like what is yogurt? I don't even know what that is. Like completely, honestly, I don't know what yogurt is. No, not the churner. What does savory mean? It means like, like something with a lot of like, uh, damn it, that's hard. I, I wanted to like show you by instantly answering it, but I don't think I can. Because any explanation of the word uses the word savor, I feel like. Yeah, but like, what is yogurt? Yeah. It's like meat that like tastes like a way that when you eat it, you're like, you know what? That is savory. Dairy product, end of discussion. Sorry, I didn't, I should have known. How do they make it like not go bad though? Cause you can leave like butter in a fridge way longer than you could leave like um, milk. Some type of bacteria. I, I guess a lot of like baking and cooking stuff has to do with like, like yeast for instance. That's how you bake things. You just get this thing to like eat it and then forward out something else and you bake something. That's pretty nuts though if you think about it. Like, that's what we're doing here. Baking is pretty cool. From, like, conceptual level. I fuck with it. Fuck. Ugh. I didn't even get to try Mr. Drop Down. I was so barely too far to the left. Yeah. Freezing also kills microbes, so it makes sense. Yeah, I mean, that's why you keep stuff in a freezer. Long live the freezer and the microwave. I really do need to get a new microwave. They can't cost that much, right? Like what, like $80 or something? Fuck, oh, $80. One hundred to six hundred? Bullshit. Bullshit. There's no way I'm spending that much on a microwave. I only need a new one because the, the the turn thing is broken. 
So every time I want to like heat something up for real, I like let it go halfway and then I stop it and then I spin the thing the other way around and then I do it again. I did be term terminal have been. If you spend 600 on a microwave, you have way too much money. That's ridiculous, dude. Yeah, it's probably like designer microwaves. <laughs> you want to tell him? Hatsune Miku did destroy our microwave. <laughs> I just can't believe that's like a real sentence. That is true. I don't remember the full story. You know it better than I do. I just know that the Miku ramen, one way or another, was cooked in something that it shouldn't have, and it like did something. No one dislikes Hatsune Miku, I don't think, in reality. One of the most universally liked characters of all time. Because you see how often you hear someone say, I dislike Miku. Not a very common thing. Also, she has like the leak, like far fetched. You know what I mean? Far fetched. That's a crazy Pokemon name. They would never make a Pokemon called Far Fetched today. <laughs> the funny ass Pokemon name. I mean, I really don't know how, like, Miku works, but, like, Miku is, like, a specifically, like, in the Vocaloid scene, you probably heard, if you've heard any Vocaloid song, you've probably heard Miku's voice. So many, so many songs. Like a, like a, like a sound font, in a way. I guess you could, you could call it. is this I like vaguely remember it it's it's here it's here oh shit this one secret say I forgot I forgot that this was in tandem with that <laughs> oh my god <laughs> yeah it spilled the blue broth and it just broke everything and in trying to in trying to like fix the broth like the stupid plate thing came off and there was like no way to repair it because it was like permanently fucked up <laughs> I completely forgot that it was the same time as the secret stand that's funny as fuck I remember, I remember... <laughs> That's just so crazy to me. 
I just remember when we were doing Secret Santa, like we built our party like we were like like playing like an RPG game or something. Because I remember like we met in like the basement and then we just slowly started like amassing party members until we got everyone. And it was always like one person at a time. You turn on captions. I don't think it's a thing on Twitch at all. Miku butter. Oh, I was just talking about the, like when we were doing the Secret Santa thing. We like built like our party like like an RPG quest. Because me and you met in the basement, and we slowly like amassed all the other people until we found a one. It was always like one person at a time. It was never like we found a group of people. It was always just and we find the next person, and then we find the next person. Like we had main character energy as fuck that day. Like we we like built built it from there. Yeah, I, I remember. <laughs> We were like messaging each other. Like, hey, we're gonna see this. And we look up and you're there. And we're just like, okay, I guess. That was funny as fuck. That was like, the, that was like the most legendary New Year's party of all time. For me, anyway. Like the 2020, the tw this one, the one going into 2024, it was okay. It was fun. But like the 2022 one, I'll, I will always remember that. That was fucking insane. It always will be. That bathtub didn't make it out of our place for another year. Because <laughs> they finally fixed the leak at some point. And they like fixed up the wall. I sent you a photo at some point. I remember that. Yeah, oh my god, yeah. No, that water got insane. I don't know what the fuck was going on there. It was wild. Alright, yo. I need to eat so bad, dude. Holy shit. Because I last ate at what? Like, I don't know, like noon or something. It's time to eat. I hunger. Look, guys. I'm, I can blame a million factors on why I didn't get anywhere. So, well, I'm petty. No sleep, hot, whatever. Not a skill issue, I'm the best player of all time. Ever. Ever. I'm the goat. All right, guys, I'll be live tomorrow. Nope, tonight with Deep Dip 2 Easy Mode. So make sure you check that out. I'll be live only on Twitch for that. And then I'll be live tomorrow for some more, probably. I had a lot of fun today, just talking about whatever. I hope you guys have a good day. I will see you guys later. Take care.